Hi everyone, thank you for coming today and joining me in this uh, travel brochure haul as well as op shop haul. So some of these things I have actually picked them up for free and the others were a real bargain and I really wanted to show you because before I start building my journal I wanted to show you what I found. So a few days Actually, over the weekend, um, my husband and I, we took a, a, a short trip away to celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary. And uh, we went to a little town called Bright uh, in uh, Australia. And uh, it was absolutely beautiful. But I wanted to show you some of the things that I found because I wanted to build a uh, basically a travel journal. Uh, this is a book which, uh, so uh, I have been collecting um, my little A6 notebooks because I, before junk journaling, I was using them as my daily kind of diary. And this is one that I bought a while ago and I'm going to use this to build my travel journal and uh, using some uh, photos. Um, so I printed some photos uh, for our... From our trip, uh, these mini photos were printed from the Kmart um, machines and um, I'm going to cut them out and I wanted to show you some of the things that I found which were absolutely free. Uh, I went, we went to a, um, uh, a art gallery and um, they had these, these were available these were their brochures and they look really stunning and and i bought a card and this was amazing because i'm definitely going to include that in my journal and that's their bag so um i also picked up some uh what do you call the business cards uh as we went and had some pies uh, and there was an information center. I don't know if you know, so some of these little towns, which are touristy, they have books or rather an information center. And they have various brochures that you can take for free. Uh, so we've read them because we did some of the walks and stuff. And uh, of course, these are now uh, available for me to use them in my journal. If I need to. Uh, absolutely beautiful and that's free. And like there are other brochures of various um, uh, shops and things that are in the vicinity of that little town, um, which were all free for tourists to take. And even this map, it looks amazing. Look at that, right? I can definitely cut that out and uh, use that in my journal. Of course, you, you will have to wait for a few days for me to complete my journal. And I'll show you my completed journal in my next video. So these were all free for the taking. Um... And I was I got really excited when I saw them because uh, this was a brochure from a bookshop and that looks awesome. Uh, one of their newsletters again the autumn colors. Um, I have some videos of the scenery of my of the um, beautiful trees because uh, currently in autumn. Uh, there's lots of golds and reds and greens and yellows, um, stunning. So um, you'll have to wait for the next video and I might include that in my next video. Uh, this again is a magazine, their local magazine, which um, I can go through and see what I can cut out of here. And they were all entirely free. Um, I went to the B shop in Beechworth. It's the, um, one of the li little towns and they had these seeds for bees. I bought these two uh, to support the bees. 
and it came in a bag like this. Well, guess what? That's going to be recycled. The receipt's going to be recycled because that's really cute with the bees. And I went to an op shop. In fact, when I walked in, I was thinking, oh, um, it looked really small. And I was thinking, okay, there's nothing here. But as I was walking towards the back, I didn't realize there were two other sections behind this first section at the front. And so I walked in and there were all these books on the wall, on one side of the wall and right underneath were their magazines. And you won't believe what I found for 50 cents. Daphne's Diary. Look at that. It is almost in mint condition and it was 50 cents. And in fact, I went in and I only bought because my husband was waiting outside with the dog. And I said to, I was thinking, oh no, they're waiting too long. And you know, when you're going to a thrift shop or an op shop, it takes forever, right? Because you have to look through uh, things and look through, you know, making sure that you didn't miss anything. So I actually bought two magazines and I, I said to him, I said, I have to come back. And when I came back, I found more. Okay, I found one more of this um, Daphne's diary and I found and so this one I'll just let you have a flip through and have a look again amazing because I would have had to pay probably $15 or maybe $16 for a brand new one but this was right down I had to be on my hands and knees uh, looking through and flipping through um, the magazine and this was an art one which I found in that same shop for 50 cents. I mean, I am so blessed. Uh, I didn't realize that, you know, I, I go to op shops but, you know, never thought that I'll find, uh, you know, beautiful things to... Um, so yes, definitely some of these will be used for my journal, which I can cut out. Uh, so that's an art one. Uh, this one here too is absolutely beautiful. It's a gardening magazine, which is, um, I, it's Australian, I believe, um, but it's more of like permaculture, uh, you know, a lot of um, country-like living, I would say. And, um, yeah, very natural stuff. Um, and I'm in it to find them. And there's... So that's called Pip. Um, and this one is another Pip. Um, and again, they were 50 cents each. I felt so bad. I actually wanted to pay her more for it. Uh, because they were in mint condition. And look at that. Beautiful colors uh, to be added to my journal. And this is a Breathe magazine, which is another popular magazine here in Australia. Um... And I got it for 50 cents. Um, look at that paper. Beautiful, right? Look at that. That's amazing. And I could certainly cut this out too. Um, and But I think I probably will have trouble trying to fit into my small journal. So I have to be very selective. But... Even that, all that, let me just move that, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, and see, look at that, and love that, creativity, inspiration is something that tends to capture you rather than you capture it. Wow, that will be how I'm feeling at the moment, quite inspired by these magazines and what I found. Look at that. Um, 
and uh, beautiful paper. Look at that, All right? And the other thing I found was this little book for 50 cents. It's a solitaire book and it's got these different ways to actually play solitaire. I don't know if I will rip this out, but look at this. I wanted to show you this. This is so cute. This is so cute. If if I do rip it out, I'm going to use this little thing as a, like a dangle maybe. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? For 50 cents. Now that's definitely going to add interest to your, and that's on the other side, to your journal. Well, I think that's all for today. Um, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see my completed journal when I'm done. See you in the next video. Bye.